Hey guys, I'm Pedro the bear. You know, I like honey, but uh, I got my hands on a berry and the berry is also really nice. Uh, let's see what I did here with the thing. <laughs> okay, so now it's uh, it's booting. Yeah, nice, some Linux. I love Linux because it's uh, just as honey, only not that sweet, I guess. It's awesome, dude! <laughs> and it's booting, but uh, the Raspberry Pi is, is pretty slow. But it's no problem because we're running uh, Linux uh, in Windows, so you will see this. So the first thing we did was we put some Windows on the Raspberry uh, because there's this uh, crap laser cutter and uh, the software to control it only runs on Windows. So we needed to put some Windows on our Raspberry. Now, see here? Bam! Bam. <laughs> and it's booting to directly to Windows, to Windows Seven. Oh, seven of, actually. of course, it's not native, but as you can see here, it uh, runs really fast. You know, it's loading up all those pages at the same time. So you could also use it in a productive uh, environment and just use it as your desktop PC or whatever. So, but that's not uh, the really cool thing we did. Um, we found a project that's called USB IP uh, and it uh, lets you share your USB devices over Ethernet and uh, we think that's really cool and we will show you. So first um, we plugged in this uh, USB stick. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, we connected a USB uh, stick to it, a USB storage uh, drive and so now we are going to connect it to our windows and so <laughs> i think it uh, does the right thing it uh, uh, increments some numbers so it must be working so as you can see here now we have uh, our usb stick that is connected down there to the raspberry pi um, we have it available in our windows in our virtual windows uh, system and now we can even show you uh, the throughput. So. Yeah, and as you can see here, it uh, gives us about 4 megabyte per second, which is quite nice over uh, over USB over Ethernet. So yeah, so we can we can use this one for our laser because it really really needs uh, nothing more like uh, 500 kilobytes or something. Yeah, and it, it absolutely needs uh, that crap Windows, so uh, that's why we uh, yeah. installed it in the first place. And uh, reverse engineering is still pending. Our hackers are not that fast here. And you can uh, check the project at the project page we provided in the description, and uh, maybe you can get involved and uh, help us get it out of staging, because it was a really a pain in the ass to build the kernel uh, with the USB IP modules for the Raspberry Pi. So now let's hook up our laser and we can show you what you can do with that stuff. So, see you in a bit. <laughs> because Raspberry Pi still has that flaw that... Oh no, it's working! Oh no, it's working! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's working! Let's so, see if it's still working when we attach this uh, USB. Oh, it's working. It, it, Everything it's, is working, it uh, really uh, sucks. Yep. So now we connected the laser to our Raspberry Pi and let's check um, the laser software. We prepared some nice uh, offensive sign and let's check if it works. Oh no, it's not working. Oh, so let's connect it like first. Okay, so now we attached the laser. It's installing the software. La, 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 la. Probably. <laughs> so, looks like it's connected. Let's check. So, the main motivation for us uh, was uh, that we could control our laser cutter um, without having physical access to some crap Windows machine. And now we have uh, this inexpensive thin client, the Raspberry Pi. And here you can see a video stream inside uh, the laser cutter. And I will now turn it on and uh, laser some nice uh, 
offensive sign. So now let's start the laser. And uh, this is another project of ours. It's Instacam. We will provide you with the link in uh, the description. And as you can see here, it's uh, hooked up inside the laser, and it shows us uh, what it's doing. Well, it looks like it's doing the right stuff. And in a bit, uh, we will be done, hopefully. Bam! Bam! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> what happened? The windows! Yeah, I got my palms on it. <laughs> my paws. <laughs> Because I'm a bear.